Green tea is good for the mind and body. Don't judge me because of the pink cap. What's up, guys? It's Ed back again from TechSource, and welcome to Setup Wars episode 12, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on a channel and a chance to win a prize. I host them every Monday, and you guys get to vote on the best desk setup. If you guys are new to the series and want to submit yours, watch the video linked down below. So with all that said, let the setup wars begin. This episode of Setup Wars is brought to you by G2A. Never pay full price for a game ever again. G2A offers the best deals on CD keys for practically any platform. Click on the link below to see for yourself. So in case you guys missed my announcement over the weekend, LG has officially sponsored Setup Wars and they're going to be giving the winner a brand new 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor. And for more information, you guys can watch the video linked over here or down below. So with that said, the five chosen for this week's episode are Connor, Morgan Freeman, Noel, Shane, and Skay or Sky. Congrats for making it to this week of Setup Wars. So starting off the episode is Connor and it looks like a pretty straightforward single display setup. We have a 27 inch BenQ monitor on the desk and we have the Corsair K95 RGB keyboard with the RAT Tournament Edition mouse. I see that you have an extended mouse pad from Corsair as well, so I'll award you a point there. And it kind of looks like you have a blue and black setup, which I don't see a lot of. You do have the blue LED strips in the back, and they've actually become very common in these setup or videos. And you have some Sony Hi-Fi speakers on the table, along with the Xbox 360. I'm guessing you hooked up the Xbox to your monitor, so your setup is both for PC gaming and console gaming. Let's take a look at cable management. So a pretty good job, it seems like the table has its very own dedicated place for a power strip which keeps all the cables off the ground. I personally think that every single table needs to have one of these things. Not only is it a lot less work managing cables, but you don't end up having a bunch of cables on the floor and it just really cleans up your setup. Now for the recommendation part. I was going to recommend a monitor riser so that your controllers and amplifier have a dedicated place which will also clean up your desk, but I'm afraid that your monitor will come in contact with the top shelf, so that doesn't really work out. Unless you move the entire desk to the right a little bit, in that case, it will. I also don't see a pair of headphones anywhere on your desk, so I looked around and I found a pair of really awesome black and blue headsets that you can use with your Xbox and your PC as well, and I went and linked it down below. But other than that, you have a pretty cool setup. Thank you, Connor, for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Morgan Freeman. We have a simple and clean single 25 inch monitor from Dell with a 40 inch Samsung TV mounted on top as an overhead. On the table we have the Corsair K30 keyboard with the M40 mouse and the Philips SPA 5300 speakers. I like how organized and precise you are. The fact that you have the mouse pad and tablet spaced evenly from the edge of the table makes me really happy to see and I do pay attention to these things unfortunately. I'm not so sure why you have a red background for your monitor. I don't think that's actually good for your eyes, so I hope you change it to something else. I also see that you have the PS4 and a Blue Yeti mic on the desk as well, with the V-Moto Crossfade headphones hanging from the wall. Not too much stuff on the desk, which is good. Uh, great use of cable drops, by the way, to keep the cables nearby and off the desk, and a phenomenal job on the cable management. Excellent use on the zip ties, and I see that you routed them alongside the wall. I'm pretty sure this table is from Ikea, but I had no idea that they offered the legs in red, unless you painted them yourself, but I think that really matches your setup. I mean, I would have personally gone with a white or black table instead of the wood that you have there, but that's just a personal preference. I'm also really digging the shelf you have on the right side that holds up your games and other stuff, as well as the red LEDs you have behind the desk and TV. That's pretty much it. I mean, I have nothing to recommend. You have yourself a very clean setup. Thank you, Morgan, for entering Setup Wars. Noel is next up with his triple monitor setup. Starting from the left, we have a 24-inch ASUS monitor, a 25-inch LG monitor, and finally a 24-inch ASUS monitor, but in a different model. So basically, you have three different monitors, but at least you align them nicely, so I'll give you a one-time pass. You have a pull-out tray with your wireless Magic Mouse and Apple keyboard, so I'm guessing this is a productivity type setup. Since you have three displays, I guess it's okay to sit that far back using the tray, but personally for me, I would move those on the desk and sit closer. There's not much else going on other than those PS4 controllers and the Insignia speakers. 
I see that you have two pairs of headphones as well hanging underneath the table, an Audio-Technica ATH-M50X and a pair of Astro A40s. Cable management is pretty bad actually, I'm sure you can clean them up using the Omni mount system or even some zip ties. You can most likely stick that power outlet behind your desk with some 3M tape so it's not visible and I would also recommend sticking the amplifier underneath your desk and running that long cable underneath the middle monitor. It will definitely look a lot cleaner. Other than that, it's a pretty decent setup. Thank you, Noel, for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Shane with his game room setup. I'm not sure what's up with the red LEDs recently, but I see a bunch of them now on Setup Wars. So on the desk, we have the MacBook Pro Retina hooked up to the Toshiba 24-inch TV with a pair of Teak speakers. That is a really small TV. So this is your productivity setup, I'm guessing. And over here on the other side is your console gaming setup. We have a PS4 which is currently invisible hooked up to the Samsung 27 inch curved monitor. Excellent job on wire management, I couldn't have done it better myself. And on the side here we have a shelf full of goodies. On the top shelf is some of your games and oh look there's your PS4 right there, that's actually a really cool place to put it in. There's also an unloaded gun with binoculars. Why do you need binoculars? I mean, there's really nothing I can recommend here. You have a pretty sweet game room. So thank you, Shane, for entering Setup Wars. Last but not least, we have Sky or Skay. I wonder how many times I've butchered names in Setup Wars. So we have a single Dell monitor gaming setup. On the table, we have the Razer Deathstalker keyboard, Madcat's Rat9 wireless mouse, on the awesome extended mouse pad from Corsair Gaming. Solid choice, my friend. I also see a pair of Beat Studio headphones hanging from the side. So this is the third time I'm actually seeing a colored wall and I gotta say that the orange or even red walls really makes this setup stand out, especially with a white table. I'm really digging this setup. Great job on wire management and I'm really liking the Coca-Cola trash can you have under there as well. There's a really nice red and white contrast you have going on there and it's nicely balanced. Really great choice on the PC case as well. I see that you went with the NZXT N450 case. Inside this bad boy we have the 4790K CPU and a GTX 980 graphics card from EVGA. Now normally I wouldn't recommend parts for PCs because this is setup wars but in this case I strongly recommend you to pick up an aftermarket cooler so that you can overclock that bad boy. The stock holder just doesn't cut it. I would also recommend putting one of those figurines on the other side, just so, you know, it's symmetrical. Another thing I would recommend is a much smaller and more compact LED lamp from Kuchir that I did a video on about a month ago because I feel like that lamp is taking up too much space on your desk, but it's just a recommendation. The last thing I would recommend is an actual gaming headset. I mean, they have a pretty sweet gaming rig, but are using solo headphones. So I listed a few awesome red and white gaming headphones that have great price down below as well. Other than that, you have a really awesome red and white setup. Thank you, Sky or Skay, for entering Setup Wars. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. Voting begins now, so make sure you guys drop a comment down below and vote on who has the best desk setup. As always, voting will end Saturday, and I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. Uh, real quickly, for those of you that have been asking me to use straw poll for the voting system, I hear you loud and clear. I've been thinking about doing that, but I like the comment system a lot better because you guys can write comments about the setups and a reason why you are voting for a particular setup. And it keeps the engagement going uh, down below. That's kind of why I want to stick with the comment section. Uh, believe it or not, it's actually really easy for me to count the number of votes. I use the control F and I type in the person's name and it tells me how many times that person's name comes up. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm going to stick with the comment section. But thank you guys for recommending that. As always, if you guys enjoy watching Setup Wars, let me know by hitting that like button to show your support. That way I can continue doing them every week. Uh, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.